Hi guys and welcome back to another analysis video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Oskar Jonsson. I am a professional footballer currently playing for Vanish Boys EF in Sweden. Today I'll go over my performance against Lindoma. This was my fifth appearance of the season. Uh, we came off a grey win against uh, rivals FC Trollhättan, uh, so our confidence was sky high. You can see we were placed in 9th and Lindoma was placed in 14th at the time. This was Lindoma's starting 11, you can check that out. And then here you can see our starting lineup. This was my second consecutive game starting. Um, and we lined up in a 3-4-3 at the start with me, uh, Hugo Engström and Albin Broberg up top. Uh, but we said beforehand, depending on how they line up, we might switch to a 3-5-2 and that's what we did. So it was me and Albin up top with Hugo slightly behind in the number 10 row. So you can see me in the circle there, I'm playing slightly more to the right and number 12 here is Albin, he's playing slightly more to the left in the 3-5-2. Here's the kickoff and Linda start off with the ball, plays it out to the left and it's headed out for a throw in. So the first play we're going to analyze here, the ball is going to come over the top here from Hani and here I receive the ball. I have one guy in front of me and one guy behind me. I recognize the space that I can take the ball into. Uh, so I try to do it with my first touch. I try to go for the element of surprise. It doesn't quite work out. Uh, Lindo may win the ball back and can, can play out of the situation. So here's the next play. Nils Svensson does really well to beat his defender. He puts himself in a great position to cross. And here in the box you can see Yassin is making the run towards the first post and that will open up the space behind him as his defender is following him which I can exploit uh, for the cutback from Nils you can see I go back he decides to play straight in I think I was a bit too late uh, to to attack that space uh, but the, mo uh, the movement and idea was right uh, so just keep doing that and the ball will eventually come and here Lindoma scores through a free kick in the fifth minute obviously really hard uh, we started quite good uh, but you know now we're behind 1-0 and we have to work from behind so here's the next play Lindom uh, plays it out for throwing quite high up for us uh, and this is a chance for me uh, to utilize my long throw throw it into the box create some danger so I pick it up here uh, I always try to aim for uh, a specific guy which we have talked about before the game uh, and then aim for his aim is to flick it on into the box. You can see I throw it in. Uh, Lindoma wins the ball, and they can. You can see here they're a pretty good team with the ball, so they play out of the situation well. But I think we do well to get back on the right side, uh, and eventually here we can win the ball back. So you know, uh, as I said, try to utilize this. Uh, if it's you or, or if it's someone else in your team, try to use this uh, as a set piece, really. So here Seb is going to play the ball out. Uh, we're going to win the header. Eventually going to go in behind. Here you can see me making a run for the ball. And here the ball is just about to go out uh, on the side and I really have no option other than to try to head it forward and then sprint after it. So I try to head it down for myself and continue my run. Uh, but he can get his body between me and the ball, he can defend it for a throw in to, to Lindome. So here you can see we're gonna attack quite centrally, first I'm making an initial run, then Hugo gets it, he passes to me while I'm trying to get myself into a better position, so I can't quite get the ball, I try to, to apply pressure and win it back, but you know, unfortunately can't do it. So here is the next play, we're gonna attack quite centrally, Yes, he's gonna win the ball here and as soon as I realize that I'm trying to separate myself from this central defender to create some space in between for him to play the through ball uh, he decides not to play it and he carries on uh, driving with the ball uh, he's gonna put it out to Hani I believe out on the wide right and me and Albin is getting ready in the box instead so here in the next play, Lindom has the ball. We're gonna win it back through a great block from Nils Svensson. And here I make the wrong decision. I get play the ball here. 
and I cut it back and I foul this guy. Uh, I get out crowded in the end. Uh, so this was a wrong decision for me. What I should have done is really push the ball into the space in front of this guy, get my body between him and the ball and just keep the counter attack going. Now I try to beat him to the inside and make things too complicated for myself. So here Seb is trying to play the counter attack. He plays it straight to Lindo, but while we win the back, Hugo takes it forward. And you can see me here, I'm in front of him. Uh, and I decide to, to make the run down, uh, down the line in front of him. So he can either play me down the space or take the ball inside. And he chooses the, the latter. Uh, he does really well and wins a free kick in a dangerous uh, position. So here we win the ball back quite high up again. Hugo does really well here to progress the play. I'm signaling at the far post that I want the ball. He plays a fantastic ball in and I try to go for the element of surprise and try to head it uh, on the first touch. Probably not the best decision. What I should have done is should have controlled it with the chest and then with my second touch volley it towards goal. You know, it could work out, but it didn't this time. So probably take a touch next time. Next play, Fabian is going to play a great ball to Hani, uh, who does well to, to get to that, plays it back to me, I'm in support and I play a great cross in, no one can really quite reach it, but we can uh, keep going, keep the attack going here, uh, eventually the ball is going to come back inside from Anton Halborg here, and it's going to reach me, and I'm going to control it this time and volley it towards goal but the direction is off uh, and it probably would have gone wide even if it wasn't for Hugo being there. So the cross, great cross, putting into a dangerous area, uh, a shame no one could really get to that. And then here, I do well with the first touch, Alvin flicks it down, first touch, but then I really need to get the volley uh, towards goal. It was a bit of an awkward bounce though, but overall pretty positive play. So next up here is the defensive sequence. You can see me to the right there. I'm getting a bit impatient. So I decide to go pressure the goalkeeper, which is a mistake because now I can roll the ball out behind me. The guy can take the space and he can play it out here and they can have a really dangerous attack. This eventually led to a corner. So, you know, here's really about staying in shape. I'm gaining nothing by pressuring the goalkeeper here because you can just pick it up. Uh, and then uh, I don't do well enough with my tackle. He can escape pressure too easily. So in this next play, the ball is going to bounce around a lot here in the midfield. No one is really getting control of it. Uh, eventually though, the ball is going to reach me here. Uh, through here. Here I get the ball. And I see that this guy is stepping out rather quickly. So I want to push it behind him because I see there's some available space. I want to use my speed, but the touch is too bad and it goes for, out for a throw in this time. Uh, I mean, the idea was right, but the execution was just off in this instance. Here, the Lindo my goalkeeper plays it long. The ball is going to come out to the wing. Han is going to head it down for me. And here I'm going to get it in a 1v1 situation. I'm gonna cut to the inside, beat my guy, and then try to cross it with the left, though the cross is a bit uh, poor. Uh, doesn't beat the first man. I do well first, I beat my guy, but I should really make sure I get the cross into the desired area. Maybe not even play the cross since Albin is the only one in the box. Uh, but pretty positive play. Up and next up is probably the best opportunity I had all game. You can see I here I position myself on the blind side of the defender. I get in front of him, Hanny plays the cross in, and now I have a golden opportunity to score. I make a pretty good connection, but straight at the keeper, he can push it out and Linda McCliff for throw in. So this was obviously a really good chance to get back in the game. Uh, I think I did well. I got in front of my defender. I could have probably put it more uh, towards the post or lifted it up maybe, but it's easy to say afterwards. Uh, but yeah, we could have gotten uh, the 1-1 one -one goal there. So next play is really about uh, looking at my movement. First I make the initial run behind, then I immediately reset 
and try to get back in the game again and uh, offer an outlet. So I make the run in behind here, I don't get the ball and immediately I get back. Can I provide an outlet here? Alex is a bit of a tight spot. Uh, he gives me the ball, I play it back. So here I want you to have a look at my movement in the box. I initially make a run for the first post, but then I recognize Alban is coming in at speed, so I change my direction and go towards the far post. Uh, Yugo decides to dribble and shoot, which is not a problem. Uh, but look at this, it's about like reacting to each other's movements and filling up the appropriate spaces. And here this was the last play towards the end of the first half. Uh, I really started to feel a sharp pain in my knee here, uh, which you can see uh, with me not really participating here in the resulting attack. I get the ball here, I play to Hugo there, and I really can't run here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. And I was substituted off uh, at halftime. Uh, my knee felt really bad. Uh, Han is gonna play the cross in here. I gotta get one final chance, but you know I can't really get to the ball. Uh, but that's it is what it is. And here Lindom is on the attack with two minutes to go. Way too easy here. And there get there's the two 0 goal. You know this puts us in a really tight spot. You never want to concede uh, late in either half. Uh, and now we got a 2-0 uh, deficit to make up in the second half. So that was really it for this analysis video. If you want to check more analysis videos out, I'll link a playlist here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.